All right, so here's some of the downsides of full-time RVing that nobody ever talks about. We're going to my daughter's house from River Ranch, and we got the uh, dreaded check engine light. It's time for another Sunday solution. Let's, Let's go. go. I was able to pull the codes and after pulling the codes we decided we needed to make a stop at Cummins sooner than later so we stopped at uh, Spartanburg Cummins which they've been great and they got us right in and they diagnosed the uh, what the code was it's a different code than I had before about six eight months ago or maybe a year ago was it yeah. We had a different code, which said it was a knock sensor going bad. So we went to a shop in Red Bay, and they replaced the knock sensor for to the tune of about $1,000. Said we'd be fine. So we left out of there. We drove, I don't know, a couple days, babe? Maybe? Yeah, about a week or two. About a week or two, boom, check engine light came back on same code for the same knock sensor so I w we had other things with other commandments we couldn't go back to the shop and all that kind of stuff so that code wouldn't put us into limp mode so it was safe to drive so we continued on and then the other day we got this code so we got an appointment we got in the commons, they diagnosed it, and basically it was uh, the SCR catalyst is, is bad, which means if I were to continue to drive it, it would go into D-rate mode and limp mode, what they call, and it would go down to five miles per hour. So we had to come, we talked to them, and basically that's about a, anywhere from 3000 to $6,000 repair. And luckily for us, I had seen a post about a recall on these for certain years, and I'll put the years in. I believe it was 2010 to 2015, something like that, where Cummins recalled it and uh, replaced the system. So I asked at the uh, service manager about it, and we had to sweat it out for about, I don't know, a couple hours, and finally they came out and said Cummins is going to handle the repair. They needed to order the parts because everything has to replaced, be replaced. The moral to, to the story is that thousand dollars that I threw out the window. Apparently, the other shop should have picked up on this, but they didn't. So today we're going to leave. They finally Cummins called me and said they got the parts in. It only took them about a week, and. It, I gotta say, if you're ever dealing with you know issues like this, this Cummins in Spartanburg, South Carolina, has been awesome to deal with. Um, we highly recommend. Yeah, we definitely highly recommend them. They have a plug. They have two electric plug-ins, so if you need to go there in an emergency, you can plug in. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna go there. We're gonna plug in and spend the night there because they want it cold when they take it in because they, obviously the mechanic has to work on everything. He doesn't want to be burning his hands doing it. So. The entire thing's gonna take about six hours, maybe, six to eight hours, and they'll replace everything, and then uh, we'll get back to you, and hopefully it'll all work out. But the, the point is, you should stay up on reading in the forums and stuff like that, because had I not seen this post, and I'm not saying they're dishonest there, but some shops are, I don't know if they would have put it in for warranty and recall, or if they would have just charged me, who knows. So, luckily, I'm dealing with good people and, you know, they put it in. So I'll put the code in. That's the check engine light. Um, hopefully we can make it back there without going into D rate and having to get towed. We, they said like, basically they told us, you know, it's hard to say you could get there fine. No problem. You might go 10 miles down the road and get the D rate light, which is the stop the red light. And, uh, stop engine light so 
We'll give it a whirl. What, what do we got to go? About an hour, two hours? Two hours. Two, about two hours, 124 miles to get back there from where we are here in Tennessee. So we'll get that fixed on my way back to uh, Florida for my doctor stuff. So, but we lucked out, that's for sure. And that's kind of one of the downsides of full-time RV. And these things aren't cheap, you know, especially the diesels. Every time there's a repair, you're into a couple grand. Um, thankfully, we have an extended warranty but that extended warranty doesn't cover anything on the exhaust system, and this is considered part of the exhaust system. So thankfully, Cummins is stepping up to the plate and taking care of it. Um, I would suggest you check into your unit and call Cummins. I think the, the uh, I'll put the code in for the recall. I think it's CR2113, if I'm not mistaken. That's the Cummins recall number, because there is a time limit on it, Luckily, we fell within the time limit because I guess after so many years, they're just not going to cover it for free. So you might want to check into that because it's an expensive repair. It's a, I've heard as high as 6000 They have to do the wiring harness from what I understand, part of the wiring harness to it, and, uh, it's an, and a software update. But we'll find out more when I talk to them after they do it, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we're here at the uh, Cummins dealership in Spartanburg, North Carolina. And that's our spot for the night. Right there. Uh, we got a 50 amp hookup over there. We're plugged in. It's not the most level spot, but it's okay. It'll work for tonight. And, uh, Got a little place for the dogs to walk. And it's pretty quiet back here, I think. We'll see how it works out tomorrow. All right, so I don't know how well you can see it, but that's the new, right here, the SCR Catalyst. Oh. Installed it, did all that. This whole section right here this is all different. So, we'll see how she works out. As you can see, there's no more check engine lights. So we'll see. All right, so we'll see how it lasts. Hope this video helps uh, some people out. Make sure you check on the uh, recalls for your coach before the time limit runs out. It's, from my understanding, it's about a $6,000 repair. Anywhere from uh, 3000 to 6000 depending on the coach and the motor. So, like this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.